Princess Kate's Three Secret Messages from Trooping the Color That You Missed A fashion expert reveals the three hidden messages Princess Kate was trying to convey with her style choice for Trooping the Color. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. The Princess of Wales melted the nation's hearts when she waved to us from the balcony of Buckingham Palace for the first time in six months during Trooping the Colour last weekend. Princess Kate's triumphant appearance does not mean that she will fully return to her royal duties, however, it did give the public a nice boost of reassurance and showed off the royal family unit in all its glory. But it seems that apart from celebrating the king's official birthday, the future queen, who looked sensational in a monochromatic Jenny Packham dress, Jimmy Choo heels, Philip Tracy hat and Mulberry handbag, may also have wanted to deliver certain messages to the public with her no-nonsense style choice. Flawless, according to the fashion expert. Megan Watkins, head designer at online fashion destination Silk Fred, commented on the Princess of Wales's Trooping the Color outfit and identified three key details that could be seen as messages from the beloved royal. Here, Express takes a look at all three. According to Ms. Watkins, the princess may have wanted to express her gratitude to the public by choosing British brands for a look we've all been waiting for. The fashion expert explained, in keeping with her distinctive classic and fashion-forward style, Kate appeared in a monochromatic dress from Jenny Packham, high-heeled shoes from Jimmy Choo, a wide-brimmed hat from Philip Tracy and a handbag from Mulberry. The eternal love for British brands, something she has always stood for, and which can be taken as a sign of support for her country during this difficult period. Keeping-eyed royal watchers will note that this isn't the first time Kate has worn a knee-length Jenny Packham dress. She also wore the piece over the King's coronation weekend last year. Kate's upcycling is very similar to her daughter Princess Charlotte's outfit, who wore a navy blue and white dress white Mary Jane shoes and a white bow in her hair. According to Ms. Watkins, this reversal may have been meant to show a strong sense of family unity, and togetherness, perhaps indicative of the ongoing support of her family. Thirdly, the Princess of Wales's choice to wear the black and white number was seen as carrying great significance in an attempt to reassure the public of a brighter future. The fashion expert explained, although her clothes had touches of black, they were mainly white, a color that is traditionally considered a symbol of hope, purity and rebirth, and perhaps indicates better times to come. Although Kate has always loved a good monochromatic moment, and has thus remained true to her signature style, there was something more exciting about avoiding color in her first appearance since Christmas. Although that might suggest she's not quite ready to dive into the bold style of summer colors, I think it was also a concerted effort to not distract from the king. Ms. Watkins concluded, Kate has always been adept at reading the room with her fashion choices, often feeling like her outfits are chosen without careful consideration, and her trooping the color appearance was no exception. Coordinating with her kids, choosing a dress she's worn before, and choosing black and white colors show a silver lining for the princess, her love of family, and why she will always be our official fashion inspiration.